hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install peppermint os on virtualbox for those that don't know virtualbox virtualbox is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer so you can run windows mac os linux and any other operating system now the first thing we have to do is download and install virtualbox and to do that head to your browser and then search for virtualbox now you can see the first page over here heading to virtualbox.org click on it and by the left click on downloads and you can see virtualbox for windows host over here which we are going to download since we are using the windows machine now i already have this installed so i'm just going to cancel it but you just have to download the installation method is just like every other software but if you find it difficult to install then check the description of this video i made a video earlier on how to download and install virtualbox after installing VirtualBox, we also have to download Peppermint OS. So open a new tab and then search for Peppermint OS. And you can see the first page over here heading to peppermintos.com. Now one good thing about this OS is that it runs with as low as 512 MB RAM. Now click on download Peppermint. And you can see the 64-bit version and the 32-bit version. Of course, we are downloading the 64-bit version from SourceForge, so click on it and this should start downloading the file size is about 1.4 gigabyte i already have this downloaded as well so i'm gonna cancel it and then we can close our browser open our download folder and you should see peppermint iso file now open virtualbox we have to create a new virtual machine so click on new Let's call this Peppermint. Set the type to Linux and the version to Ubuntu 64 bit since we downloaded the 64 bit version. Next. Now, the base memory, which is the RAM, we can run with as low as 512 megabytes of RAM. But I wouldn't really recommend that if you want something usable. So I'm just going to go with 4 gigabytes of RAM. Same with the processor. I'm going to give it 3 cores. Next and this is the hard disk we have to allocate a certain disk space to it so i'm going to give it 25 gig which should be okay next finish now we have to make few changes here so click on settings now go to system and this is your base memory which is your ram and this is your processor which we can adjust whenever we want if the machine isn't fast enough now go to display and increase the video memory to 128 megabytes enable 3d acceleration and then go to storage under controller id you can see an empty disk icon so click on it by the right click on the disk icon and then choose a disk file now select your iso file for peppermint os open ok and then you can start the installation by clicking on start now hit enter And here we go, this is the live environment of Peppermint OS. So now we have to begin the installation. So let's close this welcome whatever. And then you can see on your screen install Peppermint. So double click on it. And this is the installer. First select a language for the installation. And then next. Set your time zone region. Next keyword format next and this is the hard disk where peppermint will be installed so make sure it is selected 25 gigabytes we allocated earlier now select erase disk which means it is going to erase the disk and then install peppermint os no swap okay and then next now enter your computer name and password next and then click on install after confirming everything here is in order install now this may take some time it all depends on your pc hardware and how much resources you are located but overall it shouldn't be that much this os is very light and it runs a lot faster than other linux distro and we are done now before we restart go to devices optical drives and then remove peppermint os 
force on mount and then we can click on done we can just manually shut down if it doesn't restart so basically this is how to install peppermint os on virtualbox if this was helpful kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one